Good morning, wherever you are in the world. Good afternoon or good evening. Phoebe, it is always good to be with you. How are you today on this mm, overcast day where I am? What's it like where you are? Yeah, this is a sunny day and greetings to all who are tuning in, joining us, listening to us, viewing us. And good to be with you, Graham. Thank you. We, we actually miss our fellow, fellow, fellow friend and colleague, uh, Mohammed these days uh, for uh, last two epi episodes. I hope he will be joining us shortly in our... Yeah, I, but he is making a difference in the lives of others right now. I can assure you of that. That's what he does. And that's what I hope we can do today. And I hope that we can talk about today leadership and appreciation and the value of appreciation. How does that sound for you, Phoebe? It's something which is much needed and which is missing in many places, and not only in, in our work uh, life, but also in our, um, in our life in general, our personal life in general, our families in general. That is something which is crucial and which can be the catalyst for change and better life in general. Yeah, I, I, let's, before we get into the leadership element of this, although overall, I guess it really is all leadership, but I have a philosophy, if you like, a, a yeah, I have a philosophy that I want to have people feel better about themselves when they leave the interaction with me. I'm not saying I want them by any means. I'm not saying I want them to feel better about me. I want them to feel better about themselves. And I can do that by the way I interact with them. And I mm. also believe that with the people that we meet or walk past in the street, that we can make a connection to them that can have, make them smile, that can have them feeling a little bit better about their day and what's going on, by what we say and what we do. And let's take it back into the home and say, you as a leader in the home can engender the feelings of positivity and happiness with the people in your life, the ones who are most important for you, your children, your spouse, other members of the family by what you do and it's your choice am i right phoebe yeah of course yeah it is it is a choice and it is it is that uh, small acts which which make it uh, uh, you know a great place to be you know we, we always call great place to work but how can whichever space we are how can we make it a great place to be in so, and that is where that uh, appreciation have a huge role to play. And as, as you mentioned, Graham, how can we make when we part with someone, they feel better when they are uh, completing that interaction with us. So, and, and in, in, in our life and in the work life, which we have, these can be a game changer. If I could, if we could have people in the workplace engendering a feeling of appreciation among the people that they're working with, there is one critical word that applies in any appreciation. And what's that word? It must be meaningful. Yeah. <laughs> meaningful that. as well. <laughs> oh, I love you. You're wonderful. That's not meaningful, right? That's not meaningful. That's false. And and if I do that, people are going to say, yeah, what's wrong with him? <laughs> but the small things that we do that are genuine, can they make a big difference? It can make a big difference. And, and, and you know, and, and actually it, it put the hearts, whatever puts the hearts and mind feeling appreciated. Yeah, we know in the research that has been done in the Leadership Challenge all these years, 
and it's repeated all every year, this research that is ongoing, and the results are the same in this particular, in most of the work that we do. But here's one that's really important, and I often quote this. The, num the, the, the percentage of people that feel really good and want to perform at their best when they are shown appreciation and encouragement. How high is that percentage? Is it 70% or 73% that they feel honoured and valued when someone shows them appreciation and, and, and encouragement and they will then want to perform better? Is it 87.5%? No. Is it? Can we, can we go higher? It's 98% of people in all the surveys and the research that's been done through the leadership challenge perform at their best when they are encouraged. And I keep saying, why wouldn't you do this? Why wouldn't you give yeah. people simple encouragement? You haven't got to send them on a five-star holiday on a whatever. You haven't got to do any of that. You just got to show appreciation. So how can Very we true. Very true. That I just want to uh, also bring in, you know, a recent Gallup report also, which is also trying to convey in one way that, you know, how an appreciation can be valued in workplace. And they said that it is much higher than promotion, monetary compensation, etc. But But often organizations are, and people are falling behind in, in, in celebrating and appreciating these actions in life and work. I like to explore what can be the reasons, Graham. What, 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 what is preventing um, the members? Yep. Like we, we know leadership is everyone's business, but as people in positions of authority, what can be the reasons why this is getting not, not enough attention? Well, let me give you a couple of specifics. Years ago, in the capital city of the state of Queensland in Australia, it's called Brisbane, which is not far away from where I am at the moment, I was doing some uh, uh, training for a company which no longer exists, but it was a global consultant. Many people will still remember the name of Anderson Consulting. And I was in a program talking about leadership and team building and engagement with the team from Brisbane and one gentleman in the program, when I talked about giving encouragement, said, you don't need to tell people they've done a good job. They know that. It turns out that this man was the state manager of this company. So clearly he yeah. wasn't going to tell anybody that they are doing a good job. He wasn't going to do it because they know it. You don't need to tell them. And one of the reasons I think that he didn't like to do this was that he probably didn't get, get encouragement himself. So why should I encourage people? Was I didn't get it, and I look where I am. So I don't need to tell people they've done a good job. Quite the opposite. So why do people feel that they can't do this? Maybe they feel that they want encouragement themselves. Maybe they just don't think like this man that it's not important. But I come back often to the analogy or the comparison to parenting. Now, there's going to be parents who are listening to us now. We are both parents. We know what happens as parents when we encourage our children from a very early age. We get great results. Mm. We get their development as well. Guess what? Same thing applies in the workplace. So the resistance... Mm. As I've just said, probably the person didn't receive any encouragement themselves. They might feel awkward encouraging others, but I say get used to it. See the response. And there have been times in a workshop where I've set things up where people genuinely encourage someone who's done something for us in the venue or in the building, and they then tell me, when I said this, the look on this person's face was fantastic. And I say, wow, you created that. You cause them to have an internal response, which ge which generates on their face, in their eyes, whatever, because they are feeling 
really touched and pleased about what you said to them about what they've done. Yeah, I, yeah, it was really good to see. Good. Keep doing it. Keep mm. around the world. There are times in every day where we are interacting with others when we can say thank you, for instance, where we can just give that that reaction of thank you and coming back to the home and parenting and partnering. As a parent, we should be saying thank you to our children for what they do. We should be saying thank you to our partner for what he or she does, for our spouse. We know the result mm. when that thank you is in there, in even in a marriage, but we are together, we just do this. No, say thank you. You will strengthen the relationship. Your spouse or your partner will appreciate you even more when you thank them, when you show appreciation. So yeah, this 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 took me to my college days, where you know, uh, where oh, there was a professor who who always appreciates small acts of as as students and and you know small acts of encouragement, which which actually yeah, keep me motivated even now. You know that that words and. Uh, you know, whenever I get an opportunity to take my vacation back home, I try to catch up with him. And it is an uh, expression of saying thank you back also. Oh. Even though that, that is not said in words, but you, you, you try to convey that. And I think that, uh, you know, if, if you ask me who is that, um, that that is the professor, one of the professor who I consider as consider as a great leader who have brought change in my thought process and my approaches. So, yeah. So when when you, when you say Graham that sometimes, I I think um, I, I was just reading about you know trauma in in families and how that sometimes impact the people and and their way of working in the workplace, which, which sometimes, uh, as, as you said, as the example of one of the managers saying that, they know that good work, but often, I think they might not have experienced that appreciation, which might be impacting how, and they are not realizing how much uh, impact it is having on the people around them. Yeah, but, but quite often that impact is much larger positively than the person who's sending it out, right? Yeah. The person yeah. who's sending it might say, wow, no one's ever said that to me before. Wow. Mm. No one, this has made my day. Wow. And they remember this just as you remembered it with your professor. It provides a link and a connection which otherwise wouldn't happen. But he mm. touched, touched your heart. Does it take a lot to do? No. I've told this story a few times, but I think it bears talking about now. Some four or five years ago, I attended a particular event. Uh, and it's irrelevant what the event was, but I was speaking there and uh, two gentlemen came up after the event. One of them said to me, Graham, almost as soon as he just said, hi, how are you? Those few words. He then said, I still have the notes that you wrote to me telling me of the good work that I did. Mm. Now, mm. that happened over 30 years ago. He did not come to me and say, Graham, I remember when you gave me a pay rise. Yeah. He didn't say that. I think I might have given him a pay rise, but but he didn't say that. He he came up with a thing that had touched his heart. And and so you mentioned about the, the um, uh, Gallup research that – appreciation goes be is simple simply done and it is genuine and they will remember that because they are being valued more than a pay increase mm, mm, mm. a simple gesture of, of appreciation will have long lasting results so let's just think about some of the things that you might we might do to appreciate People around us. Give us some. Give us some suggestions. For you. What could we do? Yeah. One is uh, again. What comes to my mind is uh, celebrating 
uh, small wins in in our workplace one one example which i recollect is uh, again you know uh, again this was during the leadership challenge uh, certification process which i learned you know like in in the room when someone has done something inform say thank you and say how it impacted you how yeah. it influenced you so that that is something which which is very powerful which i thought and and you know uh, like i i like to say thank you to graham because how you are influencing me as as i mentioned is uh, like you, you are a mentor you are a coach so i appreciate the and value these conversations which you are having and the time which you are investing in this process is also a great learning for me as a person so uh, you know that 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 is something um, you know like as i mentioned uh, my professor you are another professor for me in this learning journey and having this is uh, is uh, 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 helping me in my journey so uh, journey called life journey of entrepreneurship journey of uh, be, being a guide mentor coach and advisor so these are uh, something which i just like to express to you because uh, you know that is one and and you know this is uh, uh, one thing which we all uh, can do in our workplace uh, and and also at home like uh, when i say some sometimes to my son you have done this well and i remember my father also because he always say that keep up the good work and and when 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 it was uh, at a difficult situation where i scored less he said don't worry there is other always different ways in which we can do things so these are words which can uh, lift and lead to people take action so what what are the those, those moments in in your workplace so that is one thing which i want our listeners our viewers to think about what can i do in in that space now now we we we, we can, as as you mentioned we can we can uh, write thank you for doing that uh, uh, specific work that that uh, that simple thing uh, in in the and it has helped me in in the following ways so that is that is something which is coming to my mind uh, immediately then second is um, frequent check ins like i i i remember one of my department heads doing a frequent check in with uh, the employees at least once in a week twice in a uh, uh, like in a fortnight once spending half an hour to one hour with the employees and checking in uh, how are you fibi or how are you graham what is happening in your world do you need any support from me right now L feel free to come in i i i'm i'm here to support and guide you in this process do you need any learning do you have any learning need how can i guide you in that process so this is uh, you know the frequent check in which uh, which can help people to be on track and even uh, giving a, a feedback that this is not good work this is what i expect as a good work what can we do about that what kind of uh, core support you may require in order to move into from point a to point b so those kind of conversations can be another e easier way and and another third aspect is you know uh, making you know sometimes what happens and i observe is people are not given clear goals like for example an employee is joining uh, on probation first day and and informing this is what we are expecting from you and uh, this is what uh, as a team we want to achieve and and also guiding like for example not waiting for 6 uh, months to give the performance review you you, you can do uh, regular interactions to give a guidance first week was very well keep up the good work and how positive that will be or or in case you need a rectification inform we we like to change this approach to this and instead of uh, waiting for one month to pass giving it uh, as and when it is observed and and appreciate on what have been done well yeah. so these are aspects which uh, immediately coming to my mind graham i want to make a comment thank you for all of that and and thank you for your comments about 
me and what how I'm trying to to help you. Uh, we all, we all, as you know, and as our regular listeners would know, I call you the wise one, and I don't say that without any um, uh, just with, with just. I say that with justification. I'm not just being trying to be clever. Uh, so it's a genuine comment, and any appreciation in the guise of helping people has got to be genuine. So let's just come back. I want to make a comment about what you said in the, with a new employee and to say you, you've, you're doing a good job. I want to take the to a slightly different level to, to have the manager or the leader be a little bit more specific than you're just doing a good job, but to be mentioned some of the aspects of what the person has done. For instance, to say you're doing a really good job. Here's what I mean. I saw yesterday you did this and you've only been with the company for three days. And that's a really good example of the sort of things that make this department shine. So thank you very much. Right. So it's, when you can be specific, that is really going to make a difference to people, particularly if they are new. Now, I'm going to make a suggestion uh, that people could hopefully take on board to help this grow around the world. But certainly start with your own team. And I'm going to suggest at the next team meeting for the leader, the team leader to say to the team, I want you to think about some of the small things that your colleagues may have done in the last week. Small things. Because you tell, uh, mentioned earlier, Phoebe, we should talk about the small wins and the small things that people do. Small things yeah. a difference. It can be as simple as someone coming in and being really helpful and smiling. That's what they do. It can be as simple as someone saying, I was really pressured the other day and I had my head focusing on what I had to do. And Peter walked past and put placed a cup of coffee on my desk as he walked past. And that really gave me more energy to work through the problem. This is small. How hard is it to put a cup of coffee next to someone who you think he's struggling, he hasn't got a chance to take a break? Small. So say to the team, I want you to think about observing others, watching what they're doing, and noting the, the positive things that they do, and thinking of the things that you can do to help them celebrate or for us to celebrate the good things that they've done. This is not about throwing a party. This is not about giving anybody a first-class trip to wherever. This is about recognising simply and genuinely what people have done. And it might be as simple as just walking past saying, I just want to say, you might be feeling the pressure at the moment, but I know you're getting great results. Mm. Just mm. words. Genuine, but though they must be genuine. Genuine. That means the person will feel that you've taken the time to look and you're not just going, hey, great job. No, great job is not part of appreciation unless it's done a little bit differently than that. Uh, so mm. say the team, think of the little things that you can do to show appreciation to the people you're working with. Little things. Mm. Uh, and it might even be something as simple as saying, I see you've been, you haven't had a break. Do you want to take a break now? Do you want me to go and get a sandwich for you? What can I do to help you? I know I'm fine. Look, that's great. Thank you very much. When we recognize that someone might be feeling the pressure, that's positive for them. When we recognize that someone's done a great job, that's positive for them. Even when you're walking in in the morning and you see the security guard and you smile at the security guard or you smile at the receptionist and so he might even say to them, I hope you have a really good day because you made my day yesterday. Little things. A little show appreciation. So get the team to think about some of the little things that they can use to genuinely show appreciation. We could change the world by showing appreciation, right? We could. Yeah, very true, very true. Uh, I'm just thinking about, uh, you know, uh, even having, you know, again, as, as, we, uh, as we always say, leadership is a relationship. Get to know your people. So understand what kind of recognition will make it 
more appealing for them also is a is a process because we know when when we know people we, we also understand what makes them happy in that space and that is uh, that, that can be more more uh, you know uh, motivational for them so that is one and and again uh, <laughs> this is something which uh, i heard in uh, you know we, we all heard about uh, large multinational companies where ceos are extremely busy but uh, there is uh, this example from uh, former pepsi ceo indra nui saying i i just always reflect on that uh, sending a letter of thank you to the parents of the employees <laughs> and uh, and, and how happy the employee feel because being proud that my CEO appreciated my parents and how happy the parents feel in that process. So, and, and that was very powerful when I heard about that. So I thought of just sharing it to our audience also that, you know, sometimes we think we don't have time, but, you know, Pepsi CEO, which is having global organization, she's taking time to write to parents of the her direct reports to appreciate them for the person their son or daughter is so yeah so that that's another aspect and something which i uh, have experienced in my workplace which i felt uh, very interesting is you know like allowing uh, th this happened in a financial service organization allowing people to nominate someone whom they have done uh, they have seen doing a great work and he will be celebrated in a, in a, a weekend uh, gathering so everyone have a choice to appreciate someone so it is you write the name what that person has done and he's given us a token of appreciation in front of the community of employees together and they feel very very happy about that because someone my fellow worker has noticed this and appreciated me and these are small acts but again uh, great way to celebrate uh, victories. Any other thoughts, Graham? Yeah, and look, I mean, you just uh, pleased that you be, that you indicated the idea of thanking parents. Uh, so let me just share another example of that. Let's just, and I've used this before, and it's been implemented. Let's just assume that we in the company we need you, Phoebe, to go away for two weeks to do some particular work for the company. You're the only person who can do it, and it's it's got to be done. You know, so it's not part of your normal work. You didn't join the company to do this, but it's got to be done. We need you there for three, for two weeks or three weeks away from your family. So where am I headed with this? Well, here's where I'm headed. At the end of that time, when you come back, what about the company, the manager, of the company, sending a note to his wife, sending a bunch of flowers saying, we understand the pressure that this placed on the family when we needed him, Ali or Muhammad, to go to this to do, do this and be away from you for three weeks. We understand the impact and we are so grateful for what you have done and how it's been for you while he was away. Huh. Whilst here's one thing, his wife's going to say, you are never going to leave that company because they look after you and they look after me. Right? Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. And the appreciation, the, appreci the appreciation is not just for that individual. It can be for the family who put up with him being away for a while, right? Yeah, of course. And I, I think this is. I, I just want to tie it with what we all always highlight in the leadership challenge: the five practices of exemplary leadership. This is like, as a leader, you are modeling the way how to appreciate my team members, my co-workers, my, my, my people around me. And it, it, it is also, in, <laughs> as a secondary part, inspiring, you know. This, uh, this is where we are going and inspiring a vision. How, how can I uh, translate my strategy into action in that process? And, and again, it, it is also challenging uh, my team. How can you appreciate other members in that process? What yeah. can you do? Can as, you, as a leader of what, leader in, in your own right and the simple things that you can do that will make a difference it might be as simple as smiling and saying genuinely thank you simple as that maybe it might be a very short handwritten note simple easily done these acts will then lead to 
increased engagement. I don't want to leave this organisation because I am I am appreciated for being there and what I do. I'm not just a number. I'm not just a body at a desk. I'm appreciated yeah. for what I do. Everybody wants that. Yes. Yeah, very true. It 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 is uh, it is it is actually in that process moving us to the fourth practice, enabling others to act, like how the culture will be if we have such a workplace where uh, ima imagine that people are recognizing each other, people are appreciating each other, people are giving feedback in a very comfortable way, and how that uh, workplace will flourish and thrive. So. Yes, these, these, these simple acts, simple, si simple celebrations and have a long way to go. So I'm going to make a genuine appreciation right now because, Phoebe, I want to thank you for your suggestion that today we talk about the simple things that make a difference and appreciation. So thank you for coming up and suggesting that idea. Thank you, Phoebe. I really appreciate it and I hope that our listeners appreciate it as well. I know they will. And having said that, it's now time for us to leave you. So, Phoebe, thank you very much again for your idea, for the level of conversation and your insights. You have a really good week. Thank you, Graham. I think we have to inform our uh, viewers, our listeners, that to subscribe to our channel and also spread the word. And again, uh, Graham, we have... Uh, missed to do the introduction where um, if you can just guide what, what, what leadership challenges to our audience because that will be helpful. I was saving it to the end. I'm a certified master of the leadership challenge and the leadership challenge is globally recognized as the most significant leadership development program. 40 years it's been around and it's in so many countries makes a difference. Six practices. That's what we're talking about. We want people to genuinely become better leaders and it's not hard correct no it's not yeah now what it's we not hard and it, what we also i just want to say something that it is you know as graham said you know we can the fifth practice encourage the heart and graham thank you for encouraging our, our hearts to and get getting us motivated to thank be here and also involve our community in this process and uh, we, thanks from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Thank you, Phoebe. But they should also, as well as subscribing, they should join our Facebook group, the Leadership Challenge Middle East on Facebook. And we're going to give them so much information when they are part of that every every day. All right. Thank you, Phoebe. See you next week. Have a great week ahead.